Hello friends, today we are going to see diseases of castor. In that, we will see phytophthora blight. Phytophthora blight of castor is one of the one of the common diseases occur on on castor crop, and it caused due to phytophthora parasitica. You can see the symptoms of this phytophthora blight on castor crop. The disease appears circular dull green patch on both the surfaces of the cotyledon leaves it later spread and cause rotting the infection moves to stem and cause withering and death of the seedling in mature plants the infection initially appears on the young leaves and spread to petiole and stem causes black discoloration and severe defoliation so these are some symptoms of this phytophthora blight you can see in image there is a leaf blight symptom showing that completely seedlings will die due to the infection of this pathogen and on leaves and older leaves they are but infected showing the dull green patches develop on these leaves this pathogen present in soil as in the form of oospore. spore Oo spore serves as a Resting spore and they can survive up to the next season and serves as the primary source of infection for the disease cycle. And this fungal pathogen also survives on host like potato, tomato, brinjal, and sesame. These are some their host which they can develop or which on which they can survive under dormant condition. Secondary spread of this pathogen is always by means of wind borne sporangia. For management of this phytophthora blight of castor, we have to remove and destroy infected plant debris or plant residues that are responsible for survival of this pathogen. Similarly, we have to apply fungicidal solution near the basin that means near the root, root, root surface so that the spores that means oospore spore or uh, any other resting spore or sporangia that were present inside the soil will got killed due to this solution. So these are all about management of this part of the blight.